trying to make this series more active than it has been, but thanks to college and the documentaries, it ain't easy. Now before I stop... <laughs> before I stop... <laughs> what? I'm not awake. This is like early in the morning. Being a worthy recipient of the crown of the GG1, which used to be king of the Northeastern Corridor. Nowadays, the crown is on the ACS 60... <laughs> ...while the rest of the train remains on the bridge. At least 38... 48, not 38. James Carmel Adams, the brother-in-law of author Kurt Von Gut, and the then Shrewsbury mayor, John Hawkskin. The three inquiries all found that the absence of a dead man switch was one of the primary causes to the accident. The dead man... Shut up, Facebook. Rush work culture of the pipe construction. Canceling the use of telemetry or commu... Uh, Soviet leader Gorbachev called the pipeline workers' actions mismanagement, irresponsibility, and disorganization. Really? Do you have to text me now? Oh my... This is why you put your phone on mute when doing narrations. <sighs> the NTSB also recommended that the Federal Railroad Administration, or FRA, draft safety... Fag ma. While living in a boarding house in Jackson, Jones met and fell in love with John... Uh, it's Joanne. Joanne, 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 Joanne. <laughs> Witnesses estimated visibility at the upfast distant track to be 50 to 100 yards. So at 50 miles an hour, you only have 4 seconds to accurately re ac I can't even say accurately! What the hell? To make matters worse, there was more to Copeland's bad record. Early in March of 1990, he was banned from running on Mark. Not Mark. Why the heck would I say Mark? After the incident, Copeland was fired. Was but was. Two beta kids states that people walk up the escalator on the left while people stand on the right. Perfect opportunity to strike a match and like a and light up. I can't say light a cigarette. Oh my gosh, it's probably because I've never lit one in my life. Not like I ever will. <sighs> the only thing I will light up is my girlfriend's life, I guess. I don't know. What is your speed now, over? Who the hell is calling me on Skype? No! For display at the exhibition grounds, and now runs in the Alberti... Uh, Alberti? <laughs> when he was finally pulled three free from four... What the hell, dude? This came to be known as the Case Train Collision. No, it's not Case, it's Casey. Bloody hell. The train had seven cars and departed New York, being held by Amtrak ACS... Ah, oh, not held, it's headed! This points to similar occurrence in the past that were directly caused by misaligned switches, just as the Graniteville train con disaster, which killed nine due to a, one of the tanker cars filled with The locomotives and all 31 cars derailed, doing almost 70 miles an hour at milepost 0.34 on the Nepesiguit subdivision. The engines came to a rest on their side with the hoppers strewn all over the area. Really? On January 15th, 1953, the Federal Express was running from Boston... Uh, Boston... Uh the U-34CHs on the weekends were sometimes used in freight service, only to return to commuter service by Monday morning. So it's fair to say they were mixed traffic engines. Really? Really? <sighs> This is what I get for not living in the middle of nowhere. Commuter railroading was always pretty simple business. Trains running between local towns with passengers heading to work, or just getting around the area. 
Occasionally, commuter trains, and passenger trains in general, share tracks with freight trains. Whether they were small, uh, small, small. <laughs> uh. On July 31st, 1940, Pennsylvania Railroad Doodlebug 4648 was traveling from Hudson south to Arkin on the Cleveland Division and I <laughs> They were known to be slow, but still having a lot of pull with attractive effort of 102 sows. <sighs> 49 year old Thomas L. Murtaugh was the engineer, and 57 year old H.B. Schaefer was the conductor. 24 year old Tom. <sighs> Todd. Not Tom. Todd. I don't know. On the Cleveland Division, on its usual 25 mile commuter run, South. Uh, hmm. Pennsylvania Railroad Doodlebug 4648 was traveling from Hudson, Ohio, south to Arkin on... Shoot, I screwed it up again. I had it just five minutes ago and I lost the pronunciation. <sighs> on July 31st, 1940, on a warm summer evening, Pennsylvania Railroad Doodlebug 4648 was traveling from Hudson, Ohio, south to Akron. Okay, you know what? I think I like the old way, way better. Just putting it at the back. <coughs> uh, when am I ever going to get this done? <laughs> uh, I've been doing this for weeks. But he was unable to recall passing the siding. Siding. Piss. The car in question was a 1928 build from Pullman and Electromotive Corporation, classified as a GEW 275A. G standing for gen... Not General Electric, Gas Electric! Gas! 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 Well, petrol. I don't know. Gas? Petrol? I, I grew up with petrol. I don't, don't... Imagine hearing an American say that. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go to the petrol station. Uh, petrol station? What the hell are you talking about? This is, you're going to the gas station? No, the petrol station. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna get it right this time.